And then um, for switches in particular, being able to, to configure multiple interfaces at one time is incredibly helpful um, just because, you know, on a, a large switch, you, you know, you might have a 4006 series switch that's got 240 ports. Some of those ports are going to have specific configurations that you're going to need to set up for like interconnections between switches, but for the most part, like the access ports, they're all going to have probably pretty much the same configuration. So to take the trouble in manually configuring each one of those 240 ports individually is going to be a really big pain. So if you use the range command, um, you can actually circumvent a lot of that pain. Um, so again, from global configuration mode, interface, range, in this case it's fast ethernet 0 slash 1 through 0 slash 20, command is 0 slash 1 dash 20, um, and then once you're in uh, sub configuration mode, interface configuration mode, you can set speed 100, duplex full, every one of those 20 uh, net interfaces is going to have that same speed and duplex. And then uh, configuring and verifying STP. Um, STP is enabled by default on Cisco switches um, and even runs a, a separate instance of STP for each VLAN. Um, no STP configuration is needed unless changing the, the default STP parameters. Um, now, that's not going to be the case when we get into, you know, uh, rapid spanning tree and multiple, span, multiple spanning tree, but for standard spanning tree, it's pretty much already enabled unless you're doing something really specific like trying to lower your timers because you're, you've got a diameter less than 7 or something like that. Um, if you're, you, you may, in fact, you're almost certainly going to want to, um, at some point, change STP priority and port cost. Um, we said before, priority is uh, changed on a per VLAN basis. Um, it, it must be in increments of 4,096 if you wanted to set it to exactly that value. Uh, from global configuration mode, spanning dash tree space VLAN 1 or VLAN or whatever the, the VLAN number happens to be. Uh, priority and then the priority number in this case uh, 4096. Um, it also allows for automatic modification of the priority to become the root bridge. Um, so you could set it to spanning dash tree VLAN, your VLAN number in this case 4, root primary, and then it's going to dynamically adjust that, uh, that, that priority so that it stays as the primary even if another router is introduced or another switch is introduced into the network. Uh, to change the default cost of a specific interface, um, you know, for whatever reason you want it to have a, a lower or higher cost because of something going on, first jump into the configuration mode, in this case interface, fast ethernet 0 slash 1, and then the, the command is just spanning dash tree cost, and then whatever you want that cost value to be. Again, lower costs are going to be preferred over higher costs. And then uh, verifying and troubleshooting STP. Um, show spanning tree command uh, and then you can also use the the show spanning dash tree and then vlan and your vlan number to just look at the the spanning tree for a particular vlan because again it does run separate instances of spanning tree for each vlan configured on the switch uh, show interfaces obviously and then if you really want to get into the down and dirty uh, debug spanning dash tree and um, as i say every time Anytime you run a debug command, make sure whenever you're done using that debug that you set it to undebug all uh, because the debug commands take up considerable router resource, router and switch resources whenever they're running. And so keeping a lot of uh, keeping debugs running, especially if you have multiple debugs running, can definitely cause some detrimental um, performance from your equipment. And that is the end of switching operations.